The daffodil is not native to Ireland, but it's so widely naturalised outside gardens that we surely have to accord it the status of an honorary wildflower. And even though there are 10,000 different varieties of daffodil, uh, patiently bred by gardeners down the centuries from some of the 27 or so species that occur in the wild, uh, everybody can name the daffodil. It's surely the most recognisable of all flowers, whether inside gardens or outside. And the sword-like leaves, long sword-like leaves, and the way in which the floral parts are arranged in multiples of three, uh, and also that there isn't a clear functional distinction between sepals and petals. All these features tell us that the daffodil belongs to the same cohort of flowers as irises, uh, lilies, orchids, uh, snowdrops and the like. So they're the outer petals. More correctly we should refer to these as tepals when there isn't this clear functional distinction between sepals and petals. Uh, we've got six uh, outer tepals here. Again, multiples of three, uh, papery in texture. And then inside that, uh, we have the familiar frilly skirt-like uh, trumpet of the flower, which is more technically referred to as the corona of the flower. Uh, and this is formed from six originally separate inner tepals. And in fact, if you hold the trumpet up to the light, uh, you can see the seams where the six petals have, have been fused together. There are six stout stamens and a prominent three-lobed stigma rising up between them. The pillar-like filaments of the stamens broaden towards the base and visitors have to be strong enough to prise these apart to access the nectar. These visitors are early bees, honeybees, solitary bees and especially bumblebees, and the flowers can wait patiently over a long period for what may be rare visits. Daffodils are the most familiar flowers in the botanical genus Narcissus, uh, which Linnaeus named probably after the beautiful Greek teenager in mythology uh, who was so in love with his own image in a pool of water, which he mistook for the nymph of the pool, uh, and so desperate at his inability to relate that he killed himself and from his blood the first daffodils sprang. I have to add, however, that some less imaginative botanical Latinists think that Narcissus comes from the Greek word Narcisson, uh, which means stupefying, from which we get our word narcotic, because daffodil is poisonous. But poisonous or not, it was widely used in traditional medicine, especially for healing deep wounds, uh, for easing the pain of aches and sprains, uh, dislocated ankles, uh, for drawing out thorns and splinters, and mixed with nettle and honey, it was thought to be able to relieve sunburn or even to remove freckles. And poisonous or not, it was even used as a cough remedy. In other members of the daffodil family, there is greater difference between the two rows of tepals, especially in some of the species where the scientific name of the genus has also been adopted as the common name, the Narcissi, one of the most striking species of which is pheasant's eye, Narcissus poeticus. The Latin name for pheasant's eye, Narcissus poeticus, reminds us that there was a time when it was almost a necessary qualification uh, for romantic poets to be able to write poems about daffodils. And indeed in more recent times, uh, it was almost a necessary qualification for the junior cert to wander lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills. But my own favourite daffodil poem is a short poem by Michael Longley, which is actually a reflection on William Wordsworth's famous poem that we all know. So I thought it would be a nice way to finish by reading that for you because it will have that extra meaning. This is Michael Longley's The Daffodils from the year 2000. Your daughter is reading to you over and over again Wordsworth's The Daffodil, her lips at your ear. She wants you to know what a good girl you have been. You are so good at joined up writing the page you have filled with all your knowledge is completely black. Your hand presses her hand in response to rhyme words. She wants you to turn away from the wooden desk before you die and look out of the classroom window where all the available space is filled with daffodils. <laughs>